Okay, let's keep going. I whoa, this thing looks not okay. What's up with this dude? An altar, all scratched and cracked, dedicated to Chernobog, the Black God. I can offer, I can pray, I can clean it, or I can attack it. What can I offer? Give bread. I hear a faint laugh. Where is it coming from? And the altar is silent now. Oh, well, my luck was bad. I guess giving Chernobog bread is not a good idea. I wonder if I can ever go back to these things. Anyway, hail Santa. Oh, shit. Am I just generating bad luck again? I am. Hey, psst. Give me a... That's really unfortunate that bad luck just has this tendency to screw me over a bit. I mean, who knows? Maybe it won't be as bad. It's just the main issue is uh, I will do something and just start generating bad luck consistently. And it's like, well, what do I do about this? Because I don't think there's a way to stop. Gaining bad luck. Like, I guess the way to describe it is... What I'm learning is, don't interact with anything, just murder the shit out of stuff. I'd say I can stock up on weapons, maybe. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. It's just kind of one of those where it's like, uh... There are all these, like, interesting things that I'd like to interact with, but every single time I do, it seems to mostly just screw me over, so why bother? Hello there. How would you like my chicken here? Amazing. I have never seen such a thing in my life. Yes, it's beautiful. I hope it lays eggs soon. Eggs? Are oh, the eggs giant as well? Oh, yes. Can you imagine? You could feed a whole village with a single egg. Imagine the omelette. <laughs> what does she eat? Oh, she loves enchanted corn cobs. <laughs> Bring one to her and she'll do anything you wish. Give corn. I don't have corn. Here, chick, 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 chick. I will return. I will return. Yes, she may even give you an egg. You never know. Find the corn and come back. She won't budge for anything else. I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, weird punishing RNG for... Well, maybe not RNG, but punishing uh, special events. Where it's just like, here's a new thing. Uh, let's see, you learn faster when you're unlucky. Okay. Oh! I, so I do have Grandpa's hammer that I can always equip if I need to. I'm going to try and equip the clover. So that gets rid of my bad luck, but I assume it keeps growing. So one of the bandits here dropped a fork. Got it. I'm pretty sure the clover's gone. Oh well. Worst comes to worst, I still have a weapon. But it's unfortunate. Let's see. So being unlucky is kind of desirable. Only a test skills. Sort of. I, I guess my grumpage is just the fact that, like... So far, my experiences with being unlucky is just like, it goes until my hammer breaks, and then it's just like, that just sucks? Like, if the Chernobog thing had punished me with, like, a small amount of bad luck just there, I would have been okay with it, but the fact that it just kind of keeps scaling up, it's just like... Wake up. Hey, psst. Wake up. Oh, 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 hello. Is it evening yet? I was supposed to work all day, uh, and I, I thought I'd rest a bit. Can I please have that corn there? I, I was saving it for later. I, I don't have much else to eat. Order. That'll do. Thanks for the enchanted corn knob. Here, 
chick, 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 chick. Okay, give corn. Give corn. Here. Chick, 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 chick. Chick, chick. Ooh, she left you a gift. <laughs> Travel well, lad. We got a golden egg. And that is a big chick. That is a cute chicken. Chickens are cute. I wish... They weren't so dumb. But they are cute critters. Okay. There that goes. And we are good. I wonder, if my luck... Uh... When my luck gets closer to maximum... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna just do this now. Let's equip Grandpa's Hammer. I don't think I can lose that one. Uh, hi? Oh, okay. I can just bash my way through that. that that's a very spooky... Hello! What the... the hammer sometimes just not throw I guess I'll just fight this guy in melee and yeah eventually just stack stock up on a bunch of hammers when I have a lot of other stuff well, on the plus side, I'm going to be rather unlucky by the time we get around to... Oops. I'll be rather unlucky by the time we get around to, uh... Let's see. Let... Yeah. There we go. How did I... Oh, that was probably the Wait. hammer on the way back. Spare me, please. I do not want to die. Attack, spare, demand, play, payment. Flip a copec. Oh, well, bad luck. You will die. No. Well, that's a whole bunch of body parts. And Bukovac's guts. Suck it, Bukovac. Oh, and treasure chest. And there's Baba Yaga's hut. There's a name for the hut, right? I want to say there is. Anyway, so... Come closer, traveler. Yaga is my name. I am a great witch, or so people claim. Before I decide if you're sour or sweet, did you think to bring a gift or a treat? I come to you, Yaga, and I need advice. I bring you some gifts. I hope they suffice. A bone filled with worms, taken from a grave, and sweat from a man poorer than a slave. That is quite disgusting, but I will agree. I will let you talk and listen to thee. So tell me, dear blacksmith, what brings you here? Sadness or joy? Courage or fear? Let's see. The apple? Seek the golden apple, Grandma said to me. It's the only thing that can set me free. Tell me, dear Ivan, why should I help you? I am very busy. I have things to do. A promise. I have made a promise to the Tsar himself to bring him the strength I have in myself. I may find the apple even without you, but if you will help me, I will marry you. Now, that's unexpected, but I have to say, I am very flattered, so I'll show the way. If the rightful Tsar wants strength beyond measure, then the golden apple is the perfect treasure. Where? Where must I go now? Is it far away? Don't you worry, dear. You'll get there in a day. In the sunny farmlands between grain and wheat, the apple is there, guarded by great heat. 
Thank you. Thank you, Baba Yaga, for easing my quest. Now, now, dear Ivan, I have a request. When you get the apple down from the tree, please do as I ask and return to me. How to find you? But how will I find you? Are you staying here? Don't worry, my darling. I will be quite near. Go now, my dear blacksmith. Enough with this talk. Find the apple. Go to the farmlands. Walk. The apple is ripened, so you must make haste or it'll get spoiled and might go to waste. Now go, dear blacksmith. Use your firm arm. Or do you want magic? Maybe a charm? Magic! A magic item, if you have on you, for a small price, I can make it too. Give item. A Give magic nothing. item, if you have on you. Blessings. Bless you, child. Nothing. Leave. Okay. Oh boy, my bad luck's probably been... Yep, there it is. Well, I've got Grandpa's hammer on, so who knows what my bad luck's going to amount to here. So she just took my golden egg. Oh, God damn it. Like, this is kind of my frustration. It's just like, there's kind of no winning. If I could get it back somehow, I think I'd be okay with it. But the stealing of items, I think, is where I kind of draw the line on, on bad luck. Because I'm totally fine with her staying here and, like, beefing up my, uh... Uh, beefing up the bears and stuff. It's just like, I got this cool golden egg. What do you use it for? Dunno! It's gone now. Uh, let's see. I guess let's grab the, uh, deadly hammer. And you know what? I'll probably get another one. But it's kind of this, this rough bit where now it's just like, well, I just don't want to scale up my bad luck ever because I'm just going to lose cool shit that I might actually want. Yeah, if the bad luck... made lots oh. of choices in his quest. What will he learn after he's had some rest? Let's see. Bad luck grows slower. Or bonus mines. Let's go with bonus mines. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see what I can make. I don't think I've gotten any new ore, but let's try and make another hammer. Because I like the bronze ore because it goes fast. Makes enemies hurt more. Hurts unclean enemies a bit. Hammer squares bull Bukovac's goo around it when called back. Let's make the goo goo masher. That sounds weird. Long reach hammer. All right. And so yeah, now now I've got a spare hammer. Let's keep going. Will he go where I sent him? Yep. Uh, let's see. Old Apple would, uh, would do what the Tsar asked. The only choice is to head towards the farmlands. Okay, so... Riches... Faster. Let's go for this. Friday's the right day. He knows it's the best day for riches. Towards the farms, he traveled well. About this place, what can you tell? The farms are filled with sun and heat. The peasants work amidst the wheat. But now the place is crawling with a horde of creatures with no wit. They take whatever they can seize, food or humans gone in a breeze. Their chief among them resolute to top his big gift with a fruit. Driven to heat by wild desire, he won't be stopped by flame or fire. Ivan is there to take the apple. He'll use brute force 
or will he haggle? The heat is unbearable. We were just here. Oh. No. Okay, so is my bad luck still going up? Or is it just because I'm using this weapon? Let's uh, switch back to this one. I, I like the, the goo blaster, but it might not actually be worth it. I mean, the problem is it has way too much range. I was really hoping it would just leave a damage field on the ground. Let's see, I think it was a mechanic every time you hit someone. Yeah, probably. I guess it kind of makes sense that I'm utilizing magic in some capacity. Spring water. Oh, it's okay. I'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Anything up here? What happened to your arm? Evil witch chopped it off. Uh, do I get cursed again? A time-worn altar barely holding together. Dedicated to Perun, god of lightning. Some offerings are lying on a stone plate in front of it. Pray. Something fell on the... The altar is now silent. Okay, so it seems like praying is a good idea. Because I got a Perun horn. I'll go with... I'll go with that. So, the one thing I would say is I could use my weird slime blaster. I could use that as a, a means of uh, farming up a smidge of bad luck. You know, get to a certain level where I, I learn faster? That might not be a bad idea. Let's do that. Oh, dude. Where is the wind taking you, good man? Round, you? I'm just passing through. How about you? I'll make my story short. I want to sell this cow here, you see. It has been a thorn in my side for too long. You don't like milk? What's not to like about a cow? Milk is delicious. Do you not like it? <laughs> Not the case, I assure you. When she gives milk, she bears young, but she doesn't want to drink water at all. Oh, what does she drink then? My spirits! All of my spirits! She only drinks vodka. It was funny when she was little, but I can't take it anymore. I've been sober for two years. I'll prove you wrong. Or... Poor thing. Hmm. That can't be good for her. I'll try and get her to drink water. Do it at your own peril, stranger. You're mad. You're just a coward. I'll show you how it's done. Last time, I got even close with the bottle. She turned into a damn bear. I barely got out alive. Try it, but I won't dig your grave nor pay for your burial. Uh, for water. Bear. Well, killed your bear. I tried to warn you. Now you'll have to pay me for the cow. Apologize and pay. I should have listened to your warning. My apologies for the damage. I hope these kopecks will cover it. At least I got rid of that drunk cow. Okay. Uh, let's see. So now, now we're at fifty percent bad luck. This is about. This is good. Not going with the last option. I don't know. 
If there's no dumb option, I'm picking Righteous. I'm just gonna go down the, uh, that line. Greetings, young man. Can you help a troubled old shepherd? Tell me of your sorrows, and I'll see what I can do. I fear for my sheep flock. They've gone grazing this morning, and I haven't the sharp eyes and mind to bring them back. My fortune of having magic sheep is cursing me in old age. Will you please help? Yeah, this is part of the reason why I want to go half-righteous, half-dumb. Because sometimes, I just don't get a choice. I'll do it. Tell me what I need to know. Each night, the sheep think of a riddle. And it gets written on their wool. In the morning, they vanish away to graze around. And if I'm to bring them back... I have to whisper the answer in their ears. Fine, but riddles are hard. Riddles are not my strong suit. What if I get it wrong? I have not found this out yet. I have always answered well. But I fear it cannot be something good. The sheep are going to turn into bears and I have to kill the sheep too. Okay, so I can manually pull back the hammer sooner than later. So if I miss, I can just bring it back. Which is probably part of the reason why I always... I've had those couple of moments where the hammer only flies for like a short bit. It's probably because I double tapped really quick. Yeah. That makes sense. We're getting a lot of body parts. I'm gonna have to... Oh. Yep, I guess he did die over here. Let's go the other way for a second. Is this the actual music? Yeah, it is. It's pretty good. The OST is Slavic Bumpkin. And it's so good! Oh, sheep. What breaks, but never falls? Dawn. Dawn? What flows, but won't quench thirst? Lava. Sand. Sand? I will take the money. What can be loud, but never heard? Silence. A fart? Silence? I just, I'm fairly poor, so this actually isn't a terrible idea can be spread without getting thinner. Joy. Joy. What do trees and dogs have in common? Bark? Well, that pays for the cow. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have anything else. Alright, back down to the man. I'm not entirely sure if that's really what I should have done, but that's okay. I got a sheep back at the very least. You did me a great service, lad. Good fortune be unto you. Hmm. I missed some coins? Dang. Soul switch and day daylight savings time has thrown me off more than a little. I'm just kind of perpetually sleepy for a couple of days. Did I? Oh, yeah, you're right. They blend in really freaking well with the, uh, the sunflowers. Uh, let's see. Well, I'm even richer. I'm surprised there's no enemies over here. Or did I already fight them there? No, I probably already fought them in that area. Oh, we've got two of these spear jerks. Oh, wait, hold on. That explodes the whole bunch of them. Uh, let's see. I had to get some stamina back, though. Okay, 
explode off the bees. Kill the bees. There we go. That was kind of rough. I guess I should have just ran around for a little while. I think you mostly recover when you're, uh... When you're rocking, oh, rocking, walking and standing and not much else. Oh well. Let's see, what do we have here? Hello? Go away, fat human! No bother, gift human! Questions. I have questions. What does fat human want? Why is he locked? Why did you lock up this man? Gift! Sad? Human is gift. Cherry on top of corpse pile. Father be proud. Father? Who is your father? And what does he want? Father in love. Father prepare gift for Polunitsa. And her will love father back. Polunitsa? What's a Polunitsa? Summer heat. Hair longer than me, kiss of flame. Father in love with her, and she become mother soon. Our gift will help. Golden apple? Do you know anything about a golden apple? That's you and no speak of that. That is secret for father only. Shut up! Golden apple? You know something about the apple. Tell me now. We told fat human to no speak of that. Secret. Now, fat human, be gift himself! You say that, but instead, hammers. Interesting, these guys don't have standardized health. I guess they all do actually have completely different sprites, so it kind of makes sense. So, you poor man. Let's get you out of that cave. The wooden bars are not here anymore. I see freedom, although freedom is still a cage with them gone. Back to the cage? If you miss the cage, you could go back to it. Cage or no cage, it's all the same. Nothing matters anymore. What do you want? What happens? What happened to you? How did you get here? I am looking for them. Always searching, but never to find them. They're still here, but forever gone. Please, don't ask me about them anymore. Anything else? I need to seek what I cannot find. Golden apple. I'm looking for a golden apple. Do you know anything about that? Golden apple? Mm, that doesn't sound familiar. But the creatures did talk about an apple that eats the sun. Anything else? I need to seek what I cannot find. Olvix! Did you hear anything from your captors? Yeah. They whispered about their father and an apple. He's waiting for the apple to eat more sun. <sighs> they seem to talk nonsense. Anything else? I need to seek what I cannot find. That's all. Be happy. Just smile. It'll make you happy. I will smile. Only for you. There are no smiles for me. Aw. Oh. Oh. That's terrible advice. I mean, it's both good and bad advice. Interestingly enough, uh, there's just a physiological and, like, whatever response that, like, smiling straight up chemically makes you happier. It's dumb. It's still terrible advice. Like, you're depressed, just be happy. It's like, ugh, god, no. It's like... Okay, let's just run around for a bit. Cause I, I gotta wreck this guy's business. Nope, there we go. Too many enemy 
enemies here. I really gotta go for this guy. I mean, truly... Let's run around for a bit. Get all that stamina back. Okay, explode on that one guy. Go back to running. Unfortunately, being slow as shit... Well, fortunately, being slow as shit does not come at the cost of my, uh... My roll speed, so I can just kind of roll around. Oh, you know, I wouldn't actually be surprised if the whole thing of like smile, you I'll actually be be happier. I wouldn't be surprised if that didn't turn out to be bullshit. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have... We have a couple of bits. Not too much. A lot of body parts. I gotta figure out what to use those on. I know I can get, give them for certain things. Usually blessings, but why would I? Okay, so we want to go back up to the upper branch. Alright, let's see. We got a lot of these like weird quests. It's pawns. Pawn seems quite animated. Brunette, show yourself. Show yourself, creature. The pond is now quiet. <laughs> Burp. I'm poisoned. It's kind of just avoid bad body parts. Get my willpower back up. I could do other things, but this works just about as well. Yeah, gone back to being poisoned. I'd like to kill these guys. Honestly, ugh. the ranged enemies are are kind of nuisances. Oh, there's the golden tooth. So we can potentially make another money hammer, which is good. I need that. I'm very poor. It won't solve your problems, but it makes your brain think differently for a little while. Which is weird and messed up. Okay. Oh! We can do character. So, foolish, 16. Righteous, aggressive. Cool. So, what does mind do? I have no idea. Okay, we're still working on those things. Anything else here? There's trinkets that we can have in a belt. Which I think belt is just the ma usable magic items. If smiling produced any noticeable amount of dopamine, we would need the medicine. Oh yeah, it is it is very much not not enough to actually make a noticeable difference. It's probably more useful for the people that aren't depressed to begin with. Sup, digging? Lost, little fat man. I'm on a quest for the Tsar. I need to find the golden apple. And I think you know where it is. No, no, no! No one go near the apple that eats sun, blacksmith! Go back! To foolish Tsar. Tsar is no fool. You insult the Tsar. For this I will attack you. <laughs> fool, fat man. Now I kill you dead. Ow. Wow. Holy crap. That burnt off a whole lot of my willpower. I guess it might have been multiple hits, actually. Oh, I see. Him chucking out his little dirt buddies. Does the trick. Okay. 
Okay, let's just run around for a little while. The Pulvix. And it's a bit of a shame. Well, I guess I have a couple of options here. The stank hammer certainly isn't helping me too much. I wonder if I gain... Unlimited, uh, EX. What I need to figure out is, do I gain EXP from the Dirt Buddies? I might not. Because, yeah, if I gain the XP from the Pulvix, cool. The problem is hitting this guy is tough. He spends a lot of time just running throughout the environment. And not super interested in actually coming at me. Okay, we're going to equip this. Okay, faster, lighter hammer, and as long as I don't manually pull it back, I should be able to hit him. Okay, now he's just charging. Which I guess is easier. I think he actually is hurting himself every... Nope. Maybe he is. I think he's hurting himself every every time he misses. Okay. Gonna get his major willpower back. Oh, never mind, he just killed himself. Thank you for bits. And we get Copex and associated other bits. With a chain help. The chain would pull me to him, but it costs willpower. Wow, that's a lot of corpses. Well, it's fine. Well done, Ivan. You have an apple. Is this indeed what you are after? You have the real apple. That is really great. Are you ready now to place it on a plate? I have a request, Ivan, my dear one. Give to me the apple you just won. Don't worry now. I won't let you die. You'll only need to tell a little lie. Here. As a gift from me to you, an apple gilded through and through. Uh. You're free to keep it, no matter what you choose to do with the one you've got. But I will ask you, Ivan, now and here. Give me the real one, blacksmith. My dear. I did promise to marry her. Romance Baba Yaga. Yes, the Tsar, the Tsar doesn't deserve the real one. The Tsar is evil. It is not right for him to have such strength and might. I will give the gilded one to the Tsar. You take the real one and keep it far. Thank you, Ivan. That is wise of you. This is really the best thing you could do. Farewell now, Ivan. I have places to be. There are lots of people that bump into me. You'll see me later if you want, or you must. The Tsar is not someone to easily trust. 